I'm Scott Hamilton, Certified Financial Planner. I run an office here in Austin, Texas, and we do financial planning for clients. And today we're going to talk about what is a Certified Financial Planner, a CFP. We become a CFP professional after we pass uh, an exam, meet some education requirements. But first, let me tell you about the certificate. There's 100,000 people in America that are Certified Financial Planner professionals. It's the leading qualification for financial planning, financial analysis, and without it, anybody can say, I'm a financial advisor. But if you have somebody that is a CFP, a certified financial planning professional, you will know that they have passed a rigorous exam and they've met some strenuous uh, qualifications. So let's go into those. So there's four primary um, qualifications. First is ethics. Ethics is very highly regarded within the certified financial planning community and the Board of Ethics board of standards. Um, we take a annual class on ethics. We have to sign a waiver that claims that says we'll do everything and be in benefit of our clients before us. So ethics is number one. Two is education. So it requires an undergraduate degree and an exam. And the exam when I took it is 12, 15 years ago, it was a two day exam proctored and before I could take the exam, I had my education, I had to take six graduate level classes. This is above, I already had an undergraduate degree and a master's. And then I went back and took six graduate level classes and then a review class and then the two day proctored exam. But there was a 50% pass rate of that exam. So it's a very, very rigorous exam. And this is for people in the industry working professionals and it was still a very very difficult exam so anyway to review ethics is number one education is two exams three and experience is number four six thousand hours of experience that's three years full-time in the business uh, there's a couple of exceptions a couple of other rules so if you can have an apprenticeship but anyway it's it's generally six thousand hours and that's the requirements to become a CFP. So there's six areas of focus that we studied and we practiced and that when you work with a financial professional that we'll generally work on. Educational planning, you know, so planning for college and how much you need to save and should you use a 529 or other accounts. Estate, estate planning is legal and tax and how should we manage the estate. And then it's insurance and investments and then risk and tax. So that's the six primary focal areas we work on. All right, so now what is a fiduciary? So I reference myself as a certified financial planning professional. I'm also a fiduciary. And a fiduciary simply means that I am legally bound to put the client's needs ahead of my own. So whenever you're looking for a financial planner, an investment advisor, I suggest that you find somebody that is a CFP professional, that is a fiduciary, and um, make sure you have a good relationship with them and y'all you, uh, get along well. And that would be my recommendations. So if you're interested in learning more about my business or if you want some help with financial planning or investing, feel free to schedule us a Get Acquainted meeting. And you can find that on the website. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.